Hi everyone, Eric here, your learning futurist. There was some news that came out today about TikTok, the famous, you know, kind of social engine <laughs> of uh, innovation in collecting data. And they're going to start taking your voice prints and face prints. What does that mean to collect voice prints and face prints? Well, it's not a new thing. It's called biometric data. And that's what I'm hoping to discuss in this video, introduce what it is, what it means for you and the data that's collected about you and the future that might be held around this type of data that's being collected about everyone and anyone. Coming right up. Right, so what did what spurred this conversation today? What got this going in my mind? Well, it's a an article that came out uh, that TikTok, the famous newer uh, of the social media applications, has changed their terms of service. And if I, I highlighted the the main portion of it here, let me move over here. It says, we may collect biometric identifiers and biometric information as defined under U.S. laws, such as face prints and voice prints. Now, they don't make it clear what face prints and voice prints are, but we have, I think there's a pretty good idea what that means. From your user content, we are required by law and we will seek any required permissions to you prior to any such collection, which... <laughs> means that because they put it in their terms of terms of service, they have already asked for your permission because you agree to these when you use the service. Uh, face prints and voice prints. And this is also probably spurred because uh, TikTok was also sued uh, because they collect over collected data and um, didn't comply with a lot of US laws as far as the collection and storage of content. But this Voice idea of face prints and voice prints is not new at all. Um, and I think one of the reasons why this is in the news at all is just because this is not a U.S. company behind the collection of this data, and therefore maybe uh, it might be seen as some sort of national security or um, leakage of your data uh, to sources outside of the United States. But it's really just biometric data. Now, what is biometric data? Biometric data is basically data that's collected about your body, your health, your mood, your blood pressure, your eye movement, your kinetics of, the, of your human body. Anything that's related as far as data collected about you and your physical being is considered biometric data. Your fingerprint, for example, your, your, face, your face picture, uh, the, the construction of your face, the, the, the um, um, anything that identifies your physicality. And a lot of times you think a lot, make like physical data, medical data about you when you think about um, biometric data. And these is, this is increasingly used more for data collection purposes, for security, for privacy, for I mean, uh, companies are using these needs for their employees now. For, for example, instead of you know um, security passes or security cards or passwords, you're required to do a fingerprint scan, or you've seen that in the movies where they do a retinal scan and things like that. And many systems and things are moving forward on this type of technology now. Um, Facebook, I'm sorry, TikTok was in trouble, or in the news uh, anyway, about this because they changed their terms of service to acknowledge the fact that they're taking face prints and voice prints. But really that means that they're just collecting the biometric data that is you, that identifies you as a person, an individual, from your face, from your voice. And and we're increasingly getting better at individualizing and coming down on your exact person, who you are from just a picture of your face or just a few words of your voice. We're collecting more and more data and putting that through machine learning and algorithms to identify you. 
And so TikTok was in the news because of it, but we have this widespread all over the place and it's been in use for a long time. Windows Hello is a, the new security feature where you don't use a password, you put your maybe a fingerprint or the camera will look at your face and, and unlock your Windows computer. Uh, Facebook photo tags, uh, actually Facebook was sued because they overused that photo tag service, basically taking the, your face print, the what computers recognize as your face and being able to find other pictures of you to collect, mainly just to show you and your friends. Fitbits collecting, you know, medical information about us all the time. The fingerprint scanner on your Apple device. The, this new Amazon Halo that's constantly recording your voice all day long. And actually, they claim that they can get your mental state by listening to your voice all day long. Uh, and the facial lock on Android phones. Now this is also being used in immigration services, in airports all around the world, and also in shopping places, namely Walmart. Um, so uh, like I just mentioned in the news, you can see a lot of stuff about this. Uh, Facebook had to settle with the state of Illinois, I believe, for over collecting face print information and what it went, th went against their state laws. Walmart, um, a lot of people are critical about TikTok because it is a Thai Taiwanese company, and that might be a national security thing, but private companies here in the United States have been doing this pretty much without much recourse for a very long time. Walmart, um, I think they started this as early as 2015, 2014, using facial recognition in their stores to identify shoplifters, so you get caught. Uh, doing shoplifting in one Walmart, the security company would send your face print out to all of the other Walmarts and cameras would see you as you come in, recognize you and would alert security. And now that's being even pushed further. Instead of just security, it's being pushed to, if you can, you can kind of feel this moving towards what's happening online with collecting your information, what you like every time you click on something or or uh, click yes or like or uh, whatever that might be. That data is collected about you and then algorithms generate things that you might want to see or need to see. Same thing is happening in the physical world using these kind of biometric prints, as you will. So um, one thing to think about moving towards the future on this, there's a lot of things to think about, but as an immersive researcher, I am really, concerned about the new level of biometrics that will be collected of us just for interacting with technology. For example, a VR headset is on your head and now be, is able to collect your head movement, your eye movement, your, your hand movement. And we already know that we can discern things like learning disabilities um, and other kind of physical ailments just by collecting that information about you. And we've also known through a couple of studies that we can de-anonymize people just by this kind of tracking data. So you don't have to, you know, comply with tracking for data about you, just the, the mere interacting with these devices can de-anonymize de you and a good amount of data and about you can be collected just by interacting with these devices. So who watches the watchers, all right? So this is the TikTok thing. So a lot of people say the government is too well in control and there's a lot of you know serious and good arguments against that. Uh, the facial recognition happening in Hong Kong, protesters, for example. Uh, but the United States companies are using this kind of at will, uh, even law enforcement using this at will. It's not a perfect technology, so Walmart, uh, for example, being able to use this to then now track their customers um, and not just shoplifters, but all customers and see um, and try to, you know, in, in, the, in the hopes of making a better customer experience, but also in the hopes of, of course, selling you more things uh, through tracking you through these means. The data, where does it go? How does it get collected? How does it get treated is a very serious thing as well. So thinking about the government versus 
private entities and how who collects it and, and why, even if that is kind of an argument to be had, um, one of the largest collectors of this information is government in India, and they keep leaking unintentionally people's biometric data. So one huge thing about this, because we, we in the beginning, especially for passwords and things, we, we used um, you know, passwords for websites, but now we're using our biometrics to lock things into these uh, like data or anything for our devices. We cannot change that. So we can have an issue of accessibility and inequality. Um, people can get locked out of banking systems. Ba banking systems are looking to use these technologies for security. Uh, you can expect some of those banking systems to be using this probably the most moving movie toward the future, I think, as well. So it really depends. I, I think the argument of TikTok and why they're in the news, uh, just trying to get keep data out of the hands of of who, what governments or what top level cannot control. It's always a fight over the top level of these data systems. But really, we should be concerned about the treatment, the ethics of collecting it, the reasoning behind it, and I think the issue of who's collecting it and why starts to go away just a little bit. Now, moving towards the future, a good way to see the trend of this is Amazon's Go uh, convenience store that they tried, they trialed, I believe this was in Seattle. Uh, this is a store that what, had no clerks, no employees. Maybe they had employees to stock things, but you just went in and pulled stuff off the shelf you didn't even have to check out, but because of facial recognition and tracking and other biometrics, um, you got charged automatically for the items that you took from the store. So you can see kind of this thing starting to move in this direction to where instead of just for security, anti-theft, anti-shoplifting, et cetera, we're gonna see experiences starting to be catered and using these technologies deeper uh, and you're going to start seeing these all over the place. Um, legally, there has been a little bit of pushback, especially on facial recognition. San Francisco was the first city to ban facial recognition, uh, mainly because of its use in the uh, private sector, but also in the use by law enforcement, uh, law enforcement's relying on these to um, convict criminals more heavily uh, since the past 10 years. Uh, for example, the DNA evidence uh, is, it was used pretty heavily to convict uh, criminals in the past. A lot of that has been kind of scientifically disproven, and a lot of those people convicted under those terms have been uh, released since then. Similar things have been happening around facial recognition. But facial recognition is just really one kind of thing, um, one kind of type of biometric data, and all of these biometric datas are going to be starting to be collected about you, uh, your, your medical well-being. I have concerns about, for example, Amazon getting into the insurance business because they know what you buy. They have the facial recognition software at their convenience stores. Like, they know things about your health, and they could preempt offering lower insurance, health insurance rates to how they perceive and their AI tells them are healthy people and low risk. And then, uh, for example, a catch-all system like a government single-payer healthcare system is stuck with the higher risk people, and there could be some sort of offset around that, around the collection of data, right? There, we, we can see that happening right now on the online Amazon store being able to cut into these markets, uh, the collection and the wealth of this data in the surveillance of people and, the, and their biometrics can really be a, a disruptive uh, force in the healthcare industry. That's one of my big concerns about this. But anyway, that's all about biometric data. I hope uh, that was helpful to you. I'm Eric, your learning futurist. We'll kind of see you again in the next video. Okay, bye-bye now.